Hey there guys, welcome to this episode of Lion Lord Go. In the previous episode, we purchased some art galleries and we have three of those right now in our portfolio. And we also hold two properties which are worth 12 and 10 billion each, INS Kundali and Indian Navy Base. Now, these are huge properties, so there aren't many trends that actually pop up that allow us to flip these properties and make profit out of them. So, Today's in today's episode, we are going to look at this trend, which is the hospitals trend. And we know from experience that there are a lot of hospitals in our local area, in my local hometown, and we could profit a lot from these hospitals. So I'm going to turn on my, I'm going to turn off my agent list name, sorry. And I'm going to go into the pink one, which is health and beauties, and we will find uh, a lot of hospitals. There's five that we can buy right now. Let's look at these first. This is a 3 billion property. This is a 3 billion property. Uh, this is also a 3 billion property. And this is 3.8 billion. This is 3 billion. So that's about 12.8 billion with a 20% discount. So about a billion is what, uh, 10 billion is what we need to get all of these properties. Uh, apart from that, there should be hospitals in a lot of areas, right? So in Mumbai, in, in a lot of areas, there should be hospitals. So first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy all of these, and then we're gonna go into our agent listing and go into, turn on our agent and go into Mumbai and look for other hospitals that we can find to buy. So for for this, we need, uh, we already know we need 12.8 minus 20%, so about 10 billion. So for that, we will have to sell a property that's worth the same. So uh, if you look at this, uh, there's an issue really. The first property that we have is INS Kunjali, which is also going to sell for 20% discount. So we don't even really need to do the math. We just know that we need 12.8 billion to buy those properties, those hospitals. And this property is 12 billion, so we need another 800 million. Now we have 246 in our account, and the museums that we have uh, won't sell for much anyway. So we will have to sell all of uh, both of these properties, INS Kunjali and Indian Navy Base, to be able to buy those hospitals. Uh, but then if you do that, this is going to be 12 plus 10.4, that's 22.4 billion, and we only need 12.8 billion. Uh, assuming, uh, the thing is because the discount is the same, so the discount is 20%, and the tax reduction is going to be 20%. So uh, there's not much math to do there. So we need 12.8, but uh, we're going to get an excess of 10 billion if we do sell both the properties. So for that, we will have to go into Mumbai and look for other hospitals. Before that, though, we will have to sell this one anyway, so let's sell this. We get 9.6 billion out of this and buy hospitals worth 9.6 billion with these properties first, with this uh, money first. It's, gonna, it's, it's showing us 2.4 billion in our account, but let us refresh for a while, for a while, and it's done. So we have 10.6 billion now, and did you notice something happened? Okay, did you notice something happened? Because I, as much as I remember, it was 9.8 billion that was showing up or 9.9 .9 billion, it wasn't 10 billion, and then we only had 246 million in our account. So there's an excess cash of 300 to 400 million generated here. And I don't know how that has happened. If you know how or why that has happened, please comment below and let me know why we have this excess of 300 to 400 million generated right now. Uh, if you go in here, you sa it says that we sold Dynas Kunjali for 10.3 billion, but we actually didn't because we know that we sold it for 9.8. That's what that's what was showing up, right? So there is some issue again, maybe a glitch or maybe the innovator started working. I don't know. I'll have to do the exact math, but I'm in no mood to do that. So you guys can do that for yourself. For now, let's go ahead and buy the most expensive first, which was, I think this one, 3.8 billion. Yes. So let's go ahead and buy this 20% discount on Sigma. Now we have 7.5 left, so we can buy two more hospitals. So let's go with this one. Now but all of the other ones are almost the same price, so there's no point in uh, looking at which one to buy, but almost the same price anyway. So we have 2.6 left, we can buy one more in 2.6, because it's actually at, for 20% discount, it's only going to cost us 2.5 billion to buy the property. And now we have a 462 uh, left in excess. Sorry, 106, 109 million left in excess. Uh, before I do that, let me claim this with a 2x reward. So I'll be back after a minute after watching this ad.
Okay, so here we are, we have 470 coins now, and we have put in four properties for paperwork, uh, which are going to take about one, and, one, one day and 10 hours to finish. So I think the game is improving on the timing, uh, maybe because of the updates or something that's coming up, but this is a really good thing. People can wait one day, two days max, but previously, you know, it used to take three, three, four, four days to finish these kinds of properties. So that's a good thing uh, the developers are doing. That's really, really good. Now we have completely, uh, actually we have completely destroyed the money that we have or completely spent the money that we had in our account. So we will have to sell another property to be able to afford uh, this one here, which is uh, the headquarter hospital, which is 3 billion. So it's gonna take 2.5 billion to buy that hospital. But to sell a property that's worth 10.4 billion, uh, which is gonna be at a 20% discount. So we will still be getting 8 billion out of that property so 8 billion minus 2.5 billion is 5.5 billion which is a lot of money to be holding in cash so it's better if we just go ahead and look for some hospitals in mumbai and then sell that property to be able to afford more hospitals we don't want to be uh, in excess of cash for anything over 1 billion that's just too much so now that we are in an agent listing let me just zoom out uh, we can see there are three hospitals here but most of those are sold. One of those is available, which is 6.2 billion. So one hospital is 6.7 billion, sorry. One hospital is worth 6.7 billion. So this is a really good property. Uh, it's INHS Ashwini. There is an INHS Ashwini here, which was sold for 3 billion. And the Naval Institute of Dental Sciences was sold for 3 billion to somebody. So for, we know that we have this property and the other one in our hometown, both of those combined is about 10 billion. So let's go ahead and sell the Navy base. We had 8.3 and uh, by this math we should have 8.46 that is 8.46 billion after selling this property but if we have something else something more then there's something else working uh, in the background that we don't know of so let's do that and let's wait two minutes before it refreshes the amount of money we have Okay, so it says 9.1 billion. So there's definitely something that's working in the background. We don't know what it is, but there's definitely something that's working in the background. But let's go ahead and buy this before someone else comes in and swaps this property. Somebody's already bought 64 shares of it, but we're going to get the 3, 4, 3, 6 shares for 5.2 billion. Let's go ahead and buy those. And now we still have about 800 3.8 billion in excess and we know that the other property that is in our hometown is going to cost us 2.5 billion so we'll have about 1.3 billion left anyway so let's look for one more hospital and let me just go ahead and verify that we actually bought this yes we did 6.6 .6 billion is the valuation of that property so if we move around a little bit hospitals aren't really uh something that is not available in most cities there are hospitals right so uh you don't have to worry about finding them let's just go ahead i don't know where to go though let's try this one here it's gonna take one minute so i'm gonna watch an ad and i'll be back okay so here we are in this area but there aren't any hospitals that are on sale here so let's just go ahead into this area that's gonna take another one minute so i'll just watch an ad and i'll be back so here we are in this area and no hospitals. It says no filters, no properties matching your filter. Uh, there should be a lot of hospitals, right? Or we will might, we might just have to go into areas where there really are hospitals. But just for the sake of curiosity, because we already know that there are hospitals in this area here, here, here. We already know we will find hospitals there. So. That's not a big deal to find, but let's just go ahead and see if we can find something in the Ballard Estate area, which should be somewhere around here. Uh, no, 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 um, I'm, I think I'm doing something wrong here. Just a second. I think we need to perhaps, uh, let's, let's try this area. I don't think there's hospitals here, but let's just try Kalagoda. There should be hospitals here. I'm not so sure. Let's just try that. So it's going to take 43 seconds. So guys, hold on. We'll finish watching an ad and I'll be back.
So here we are in the Kalagora area, but still no hospitals. Uh, let's move off to Marine Lines and see if we find something here. There should be a lot of hospitals, right? But for some reason, there aren't. So maybe there's something wrong with the game, or maybe there aren't properties registered in the game. But anyway, let me just watch some ads and I'll be back. Okay, so here we are in the Marine Lines area uh, between New Marine Lines and Sonapur and there are a lot of hospitals here. So four that we know of are here, but two of those are already sold out. Let me just see what's the valuation. Okay, this is a $15 billion hospital and this one is 3.9. So that's that's expensive. $15 billion is really, really expensive. And there's just 1,000 shares of the hospital, by the way. If you go into here, you will see that somebody owns all the 1,000 shares and those are $15 billion. So that's really good. For us though, let's just come here. This is a 2.5. Uh, this is actually a 3 billion hospital we can buy for 2.5. And there is another one which is a 2.1 billion hospital we can buy for 1.8. So we can buy both the hospitals here. We don't need to go anywhere else. But just because we have been buying hospitals in our hometown, let me just turn off the agent for a minute. I think we should buy Headgivar Hospital, right? But if you remember from a previous video, Headgivar Hospital doesn't actually show up on the map all the time. I don't know what's the problem here, but this is a peculiar trend with this hospital. That if I wanted to uh, add shares to this hospital, as you remember from a previous video, uh, there was we were already owning all of these hospitals, all five of these, but there were discount on hospitals and there were about 700 800 shares of each of these hospitals outstanding but we couldn't buy for healthcare hospital because we couldn't find it on the map so for that reason we are going to skip this hospital and actually go into mumbai and buy those two properties uh, which is 659's bombay hospital and dr nirmal surya neurological clinic so those are the two things that we're going to buy let me just buy the first first buy the expensive one that's the rule always so this is the more expensive one out of the two. So let's buy this one. And then with the remaining amount, which is 1.3 billion, we can buy this. But before we do that, we also remember, we also bought uh, these properties, which is the art galleries for flipping. So let's go ahead and flip those. So we could buy a few more shares of the hospital, right? This is the last one, so okay, so we're done with selling all of those properties. Let me just go ahead and more. Okay, so we've already upgraded more, so we're not gonna sell that property. But we have 1.4 billion now, and let me just collect the revenue, which is just 24,000. But nevertheless, let's just collect that. Okay, cool. So now let's go in here and buy the last property which is 1.4 billion is what we have so we couldn't actually buy the entire property but we can buy 914 shares out of the 1100 that are on the market and now we have leveled up again so let me just watch an ad and collect my 2x reward okay so here i am back in the game i've collected my reward we have 488 coins and we are Currently, we own like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hospitals, and the total valuation of our properties is now 30 billion. So it was 27 billion before uh, starting this episode, but now it's 30 billion. So that's good, I guess. It was 27 billion or was it 29 billion? I'm, I'm not so sure, but uh, I don't remember, but I think it was 27 billion. So now we are at 30.7 billion, and our ranking should refresh in about four minutes but let me just you know scroll down okay so the rankings already refreshed we are at 78 in the country and in the server we are at 14 and in the world we are at 8261 so we've uh, dropped a few ranks i guess in the world i'm not so sure from the previous episode what really happened but whatever it is the most important thing is that we are uh, getting closer and closer to the top of the leaderboard by actually 
uh, getting good valuation for our properties i mean turning the valuation of our properties up by selling more properties buying more properties we are getting some profit and that's the most important thing to go up in valuation so this property is a 20 percent discount so if we immediately sell this to the bank we're not going to make money on this trade but as you know from experience we're not going to immediately sell all of these properties because these are expensive properties right mm -hmm. so uh selling those to the bank would require a new trend that's equally good so there's no point in selling those to the bank and we know that these kinds of trends don't really uh happen uh, in a long time like this one the hospital one has repeated about what is it about two or three weeks later so you know it's been two or three weeks since this trend actually came up the last time and the Ines Kunjali I think it was two or three weeks when we bought Ines Kunjali it's been two or three weeks since we bought Ines Kunjali so uh, those kinds of trends you know we've been holding Ines Kunjali and the other property that we had for the military base for over two or three weeks so it made us a huge amount of profit and same is going to happen with these properties so we're going to hold these and they're going to make us profit in terms of revenue because after we sell it to the bank it's the same thing but in terms of revenue these guys can give us a lot of profit also one more thing we noticed today is that when we sell a property to the bank there's something that's working in the background that's giving us additional uh cash additional sell value but i don't know what it is if you know what it is please comment in the uh, description and if you know that uh, if you go into here we can see that our innovator is at 16 percent. so if the calculation fits in it could be our innovator because this is one of those things that used to work in the previous versions of the game where this would give you extra money for your property so if the innovator is at 16 percent, it would give you extra 16 percent when you sell it to the bank but uh, i don't think it was the innovator because i don't think the amount the difference was 16 percent. but whatever it was something is working in the background and that's good for us so that's it i think uh that's it for this episode if you like this episode please hit the like button and subscribe and also share it with your friends i don't miss to hit the notification icon so you don't miss a video when it's out. I'll see you next time in a new video.